Okay, so I have this patient. Let's just call him Ryan for the sake of this video. Ryan was born female and identifies as male. And Ryan has had gender dysphoria for many, many years. And Ryan's anatomy is perfect for a double incision top surgery. Ryan really wants this approach. He wants to be as flat as possible. However, Ryan's goals also include to have a sensate nipple. Ryan really cares about nipple sensation. He feels that it would be unnatural to have a numb nipple with surrounding sensate skin. And he's hoping to do everything he can to have a sensate nipple in the future. So when we went through the initial insurance approval process for Ryan, we requested coverage for the top surgery, but we also requested coverage for a nerve grafting procedure. And we went through sort of the initial standard headaches with his insurance company where they kind of initially try to deny it and eventually couldn't really find a reason to deny it because he meets all the criteria. However, they did not agree to cover the nerve grafting procedure. They said, in their expert medical opinion, Ryan doesn't need this procedure. This procedure is not indicated. This procedure is not medically necessary. Ryan is unlikely to benefit from this procedure. And I'm not sure how they really come up with these things, so I'm making this video to voice and explain my frustrations about this to you and to explain to you why the insurance companies are wrong and why this procedure should be covered in top surgery. take a minute and talk about double incision top surgery. This surgery involves excision of skin because there is extra skin that requires excision above and below the nipple. And I cannot safely keep the nipple intact. So the nipple areola complex is removed, thinned out, resized to create a more masculine or non-binary appearance, and it's placed back on the chest wall as a free nipple graft. This is essentially dead tissue. This is non-viable skin that relies on its surrounding environment, meaning the oxygen and the nutrients from the skin of the chest wall where it is placed, and there are no nerve endings here. The nerve endings are gone, and this graft is 100% numb immediately after surgery. And even for periareolar and keyhole surgery, a lot of the tissue directly below that nipple areolar complex is removed. So there's still a very high chance of having numbness with this surgery because a lot of the sensation was coming up through that tissue to supply the nipple. So for patients who are interested in regaining some of that sensation to the nipple, which most of my patients are, not the hypererotic sensation, but just basic protective sensation, God forbid you ever burn your nipple or brush against something sharp or sustain trauma to the area in general, it's a good idea to have some protective sensation to all the skin on our body, including the nipple. So I'm just talking about protective sensation here, but in my experience for patients who are interested in regaining some of that sensation to the nipple, I have been performing a nerve grafting procedure using a small sensory branch of the fourth lateral intercostal nerve, which is found along the chest wall in the surgical site. And I take this nerve branch and after a little dissection, I'm able to connect this nerve to the underside of the skin where the nipple graft is planned to be placed. And I'm noticing that there is a big difference in the amount of sensation that is regained in these patients to the nipple and the speed at which it is regained. So the patients of mine that are having this nerve grafting procedure are regaining more sensation to the nipple and they're regaining it faster compared to the patients that don't have nerve grafting. And I think that this is really important. There is clearly value to this. We have been performing nerve grafting for literally hundreds of years. And you can Google this. The first nerve graft was performed in 1885. And ever since then, we've been refining our techniques, describing the anatomy of peripheral nerves, how they regenerate. This is not a new concept. Okay, so I'm just reviewing the denial that we just received from Cigna. We also received two denials from Aetna for this procedure. We have found that the service requested is not medically necessary in your case. Please review the following guidelines, medical coverage policy, treatment of gender dysphoria, medical coverage policy of tissue engineered skin substitutes. That doesn't even make sense. There are not enough published medical studies to show the safety and or effectiveness of advanced nerve graft for any reason. That doesn't even make, that doesn't make any sense at all. 
There is a lot of evidence to support doing nerve grafting procedures in many different situations, including breast reconstruction after mastectomies, for example, where we remove all of the breast tissue, which is very similar to a top surgery procedure where we're removing most of the breast tissue. And after a mastectomy, sometimes we do a free nipple graft. Sometimes we are able to save the nipple, which is similar to a periareolar or a keyhole surgery. Either way, there are similarities between breast reconstruction procedures and top surgery procedures and the proven benefit to nerve grafting is real. There are a lot of studies that are proving benefit in helping patients to regain sensation to that nipple areola complex after free grafting and nipple preservation procedures faster and more effectively after nerve grafting compared to no nerve grafting. There are randomized controlled studies of this and there are many examples of this working and proving benefit for patients. If you lacerate your peripheral nerve in your arm and this can't be repaired, we do nerve grafting to repair the defect, to restore motor function and sensory function to a person's hand, for example. Nerve grafting is not a new concept. The problem is we've only been doing top surgery in high volume for the past 20 or 30 years, so there's not a lot of long-term data on nerve grafting for top surgery because that would be impossible. We don't have enough long-term data and volume to support it. But we've been doing nerve grafting for many, 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 many years, and we know that it works, and I can tell you that it's going to help these patients regain sensation to the nipple faster and more effectively. So the other day I wrote a strongly worded email to Cigna and I provided them with the literature that I found on nerve grafting for breast reconstruction and systematic reviews with meta-analyses and some pretty strong supporting evidence to prove that nerve grafting works in many different situations that are similar to top surgery. And I'm going to read you guys the response that I got. Hi. Thank you for the provided literature. Our clinical policy unit has reviewed your literature submitted and also performed an independent literature search and found a lack of evidence to support the use of nerve grafting at the time of transgender breast removal surgery. Accordingly, we are upholding the denial for coverage for your nerve grafting procedure in any transgender breast removal surgery case. So there you go. So today I'm writing another strongly worded, more formal letter that I'm going to send to both Cigna and Aetna, and I'm going to explain why they are wrong, and I'm gonna include links to all the studies that I found on nerve grafting, and I'm gonna use the word discriminatory, and I'm going to explain to them why this procedure should be expanded to be covered for not only breast reconstruction, but also for top surgery. Okay, so I'm gonna send these off today. I will let you guys know what happens. This is extremely frustrating. I have a team that helps me with some of the more basic insurance issues, but when it comes down to letters like this and appeals and denials, I like to write a lot of the letters myself because I find it much more effective. So we'll see, I will keep you guys posted. Stay tuned and please like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.